Hi, welcome to Painting with Kevin. I thought today we'd do a nice colorful seascape, so we're going to run the colors across the screen that we'll be using today if you'd like to paint along with us. And while we're doing that, uh, let's take a look at the easel here that I'll be working with. Uh, I've got a 16 by 20 canvas that I'm using, and I took a, a mixture of titanium white and linseed oil and put a thin, even coat all the way across the canvas. I also took a piece of masking tape and put it a little bit of a little bit more than halfway down the canvas just to tape off my horizon line. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to find a, um, a two inch brush here. I'm going to use the one that I put the uh, uh, mixture of titanium white on the canvas with. And I'm going to go into some bright yellow here, some cadmium yellow. And let's just go right here in the center of our canvas. And let's brush in some color. Let's make this pretty bold. I like it good and bold here. Maybe even drop some a little bit down below our, a little bit below our horizon line even while we're at it. Pretty, pretty bold colors here. Okay, some in here. And I'm gonna go ahead with this same brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of uh, bright red and just mix it with my yellow here. See if I could get a little bit of an orange color. Like this. Something like this. Let's go up right above our yellow here. I'm just kind of doing a, you can see I'm doing kind of a diagonal brush stroke. Make it look, oh, I don't know, a windswept sky or something along that line. Right here. Cross. Kind of turn my brush like that and then I turn it like that. So just back and forth. Depends on how, how thick you want to put the paint on the canvas. Something along this line. Maybe a little bit more of that. A little bit more of that orange color up in here. Right across. A little bit through here. And while I'm working, I'm gonna go back. And I'm gonna go into some burnt sienna, which is kind of a uh, kind of a reddish brown here on my brush. I'm gonna go right up in here with some burnt sienna. Kind of darken my corner down. Maybe a little bit more on here, right like this. Maybe even take a little over on this side. Yes, a little here. Just getting kind of a kind of a windswept look. And here, while we're working with this burnt sienna, let's go ahead and put a little little beach color down here. Same deal, burnt sienna. Right here, brushing straight across. Right here where we'll, where we'll have a beach, we hope. That's the plan anyhow. Okay. Let's leave that alone. Let's, um, let's go ahead and go back and find ourselves a um, one inch brush here. Clean one inch brush and let's mix some color up. I'm gonna grab a little alizarin crimson which is kind of a reddish color. Just mixing with my brush. I'm gonna put a little phthalo blue in it. A little lizard and crimson, a little phthalo blue. Kind of going for a purple color here. See what we can get here. I don't want too much paint on here, not too much, but let's. So I'm gonna go up in here, just with this brush, kind of doing a circular brush stroke and putting a little bit of cloud shape in here. Not really, not really brushing, more tapping than anything up in here and we'll start with that. Kind of leave that alone here in a minute. Let's put a little one right underneath him here. Right there. Across here. Maybe like that. Then we'll blend these out in a minute, but let's get them laid in first. Across this way. Little color here. Maybe we can even do a little one 
kind of floating across the sky right here. Okay, so I've got that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wipe this brush out with a paper towel. And I'm going to use the other end of the brush where there's not much paint on it. And I'm just going to use it and go right back in and blend out the base of this. Just a wee dab, right like that, right across like this. Land him out. Kind of soften him up a little bit. And even across here. Right here. We'll do the same thing over here since we're having so much fun with it. Right here, and we'll go right here. And do the same thing with this. And I think, maybe I'll leave that alone for a minute. Maybe we'll put a little bit here in front of it. Just give it a little depth here, but not much. And I think I can leave that alone for a minute. We'll go back and do some highlight later. But I think, I think we'll call that uh, pretty close right there for now. But we'll go back and work on it a little bit more later. Okay, so I'm going to grab a filbert brush here. And I'm going to go into some of this burnt sienna. A little burnt sienna here. I might put just a pinch of lamp black in it. Not much. You don't want to use too much lamp black. And let's put a little, maybe a little distant, uh, distant mountain or something here. Something like that. That might be a little too dark. Let's lighten him up a little bit. Something like this. Just distant. Barely, barely. Barely thing on it there. Barely any paint. Let it kind of fade out there. Let's, let's put another one in front of him while we're working. And you know what? I think that looks like a pretty good start and a pretty good place to stop and take a little break. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Hi, welcome back. Let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. I was working with my filbert brush, just doing uh, some background hills, mountains, islands, whatever you want to call them. And we got some on that side, on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and put a little bit on the left hand side here. It's kind of letting it fade out. Very, very, very distant sort of thing. Not too bold. Don't want too much paint in there. Maybe something along this line. Take that and just pick up a fan brush and kind of soften that. Soften that just a dab. Let me go back in with her. Go back in with her filbert. Set my lines a little harder there. That's kind of a distant. Maybe that's a distant island. Okay, so we got that. So I think with that, I think we're ready to maybe take our tape off. See if we can develop a wave of some sort here. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a two-inch brush here. I'm going to go right up into some, right up into some phthalo blue. Might mix it with a little bit of white. And I'm going to go up in here, right up in here. Brushing across, just kind of set my set my horizon line here. Eh, not much paint on the brush, but just enough. And like I said, I mixed it with some some titanium white. Just lighten it up a little. Take that across. Get a little bit more on here. Raise him up enough to cover up a white line there. And I think we got him. Let's pull a little bit more paint down just to get that area where we had the tape because there's no, no thin white paint on that part of it. So we'll just pull it down here like, like this. And I'll tell you what, let's pick up a, um, let's pick up a fresh filbert brush. Go into a little bit more of that blue. And let's decide where we want to put a wave. Let's see here. So maybe we got something coming across. Oh, maybe right there. Maybe it cuts across here. And breaks here at some point. 
on this line. So there's the top of him. And let's see, let's see if we can find a bottom for him there too, right up through here. Something like that. Let's develop him. Where do we want him to go? He's going to loop right there. Something like this. Do a little, kind of a little cup shape here. See that? Little, kind of a cup shape. There's your handle. And there's the cup right there. Little handle, little cup. Maybe it goes out that way a little bit more. Maybe that makes more sense to you like that. See that cup shape? Right like this. Okay. Put a little color here. Where the wave's breaking, just brush it out there a little. And a little more color in here. Let's go back to that two inch brush we were working with. Grab a little paint here and where we're working on that. Let's just pull that around. Right like this. There it is, gonna wash up on the shore. A little wave gonna break and wash right up here on the shore. All right, it's gonna loop around that way, so let's take him around like this. Like that. Need a little color on this side too while we're working. Right across like this. Let's kind of develop him here. Okay. All right. Let's um, let's find a. Um, tell you what. Before we grab our filbert here, let's grab a little fan brush. Let's go into some titanium white. And this is a little small fan brush here. A little titanium white. I'm gonna go where this wave's gonna be, and I'll just take it right here and just kind of pull it like this. We're breaking there, right? Like, and we we'll get him swoop around, kind of like that. Like that. Right like that. Okay, so that's the where he's breaking. Go back in, find a little bit of that blue we were working with, and let's tap up in here a little bit. Maybe get some oh, an area where there'll be a splash or something. Right along here, a little blue. We'll get some dark first before we put white on it because if you don't, if you don't put dark down. Then your lights don't show up very well, your light color. So we'll be a little dark first, and a little light. Something around here. And right like that. Bring it on across. Okay, got that in. Let's find ourselves a, uh, find ourselves another little clean filbert. I got lots of brushes I'm working with here. Let's, uh, let's go back, back in here and detail Detail or splash just a little bit. Just tapping in where we where we put that that splash. Give him a little a little foam, a little mist, a little something. Let's put him way up in there. Maybe he's really doing some splashing here. Go ahead and put it along here. Right along the Hold the lip of the wave right across, maybe like that. And I think this looks like a pretty good place to take a break. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Hi, welcome back. Let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. I was working with my filbert brush, just doing a little, little detail here, putting a few little splashes in, uh, in my wave. I'm gonna work at it a little bit more. I'm gonna set this filbert brush aside and go ahead and pick up a clean uh, one inch brush. I'm just going to tap lightly, just using the, the corner of the brush, tap lightly here just to soften this down a little. Some of my splash, some of my sea foam, whatever you want to call it. Just softening it down right in here, just a dab. Okay. Maybe go ahead and pick up my filbert. Again, get some fresh white while I'm working and maybe drop a little in front of it in a few places where I tapped out, just to give a little depth. Oh, maybe a little here. Just a few places, just for some depth. Maybe even a little bit right in there. Just kind of see what we can get. Okay, let's leave that alone for a minute. While we're working here, we've got our uh, wave here. We could use a, an eye of a wave. I'm gonna do some finger painting here. I'm gonna take my, uh, my finger here, go into a little bit of yellow, go right in here right where the eye of the wave would be. And I'm just gonna kind of put kind of a 
teardrop shape here, if that makes sense to you. It's kind of a teardrop shape there and let it kind of diffuse back into the wave. Of course, it's mixing with that blue. So it's gonna go a little green here. I'm gonna go a little green. And cleaning off my brush. And I'm gonna go into a little white. A little white and going right back over this, right back over this to kind of soften that down. Just a wee dab right here. Really soften him up there. Something along that line. Okay. Right like that. Okay, so I've got that. I'm gonna pick up uh, I'm gonna pick up the um, fan brush we've been working with. It's got a little bit of white on it, but I'm gonna take it and actually go into a little bit of blue just because. Just because I want to. I'm gonna go right here on the shoreline in a few places and just put a little bit more color on here, right there on the shoreline. Just brushing across. Not a big deal, not a big deal. A little bit here, not too much time on that. Got that. Let's find ourselves a uh, let's find ourselves a palette knife. Let's go into a little white. Got some dirty white here. It's got some blue in it, but it doesn't matter. A little bead of paint on our knife. I'm gonna go up in here and let's do a little bit of a kind of a foam uh, foam edge here, a little water's edge here. Notice the knife. Notice the top part of the knife. Top flop part of the knife, flat part of the knife stays horizontal with the top part of the canvas for the most part. I mean, this is washing down on the beach, so you do want to want it when it comes up on the beach to look fairly flat. Okay, so we got some there. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's put some all the way out here just because we want to. Along this line, pretty heavy on the paint. Pretty heavy on the paint here, right like that. Okay. And if you've got a wave, we need a few little rocks. Let's just use that same knife here. Go up in, grabbing a little old burnt sienna, a little black. Whew, not too much black. Gotta be careful here. I don't want that too dark. Let's see if we can't, uh, let's say we can't throw in a rock or two. Maybe something up in here just because. If you're gonna have a splashing, big old splashing wave, maybe we want it splashing on something. Something to splash into. I'll put a little something here, right down here, like this. I'm gonna use a, get him in there a little. There's one, we'll brush him out a little bit in a minute. We'll leave him alone for right now. Let's see if we can put uh, maybe a little bit of something, oh, maybe right in here, a little rock here or something. Right in there, right on the shoreline, or close to it. Tell you what, let's just make this a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and grab our filbert brush, that one we were using. It's got some, uh, already has some brown in it. Let's just, let's go ahead and uh, do a few rocks here and here, here and there. It looks like a good place for one. Just take my, take my brush and my filbert brush and just kind of twisting it here with a little bit of that dark brown. And maybe we'll make him a little taller there just because we want to. Maybe, maybe grab a one inch brush and go ahead and brush that out a little in here. Just to tap it out, kind of, kind of haze that out a little there, right in here, and underneath there, I think we can put a few more rocks. Oh, let's see. Let's develop one. Oh, look right here. Looks like a good place. Just kind of twist in your brush a little, right here. Set him there, and I don't know. We might even be able to do something right in there. Let's put a few on this few on this canvas. Got a lot going on over there, so shoot, we might as well do something over here. Let's let's fill in here a little. Maybe something going on here. A little maybe some rock on this beach. Some dark, dark rock. Take my knife, pull down here just a little bit, kind of set an edge. See if we can't develop this a little bit. I'm gonna mix up a little bit more of that color. A little bit more of that color, and that's just your burnt sienna and a little, little lamp black. Let's make this good and dark here. All right, like that. 
wipe my knife off. See if I can't pick up a little highlight here. Maybe a little, little, little orange and yellow or something mixed together. Just add some little highlights here in a few places. Maybe even up here on these rocks, right in here. Ooh, that's really bold. We'll have to go back over that maybe. Make him don't so he doesn't look quite so harsh. So, looks like we're getting some highlights here. So I'm thinking this might be a pretty good place for a break. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Hi, welcome back to Painting with Kevin. Let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. I was doing some knife work here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue. I was using a mixture of, of lamp black and dark sienna. So I'm going to go back, and I'm using some, oh, I've got a little, little that yellowish, orange mixture, that yellowish red mixture that I had. And I'm just doing a little highlights here in a few places. Took a little blue here, maybe a little bit here, a little there, and some across here. And just putting a little highlights uh, on some of these rocks, just because we don't want them to be too boring here. So we'll take that. Just a little highlight. Okay, now while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and find my fan brush here. Fairly clean fan brush. I'm going to go right underneath here on these rocks, just pull straight down, straight down, a little reflection in the, little reflection in the wet sand. And I'm gonna brush, wipe my brush off, don't want too much paint on this, I'm gonna brush lightly, straight across, just reflect them, reflect them in the sand. So, underneath here, I've got this little bank. Let's grab a little color, pull out here into the, into the sand. Find our palette knife again, wipe it off, grab a little bit of white paint, small bead of white paint, go underneath here, put a little bead of white paint under each of these rocks, just say, so looks like we got some water working our way under them. And underneath here, well, we've got this big rock here, we better put something there. Up against there. And while we're at it, I think we'll do a little highlight on this rock up here too. I think we need to, a little bit. Right there. Coming down here. Maybe go a little blue. Maybe a little darker blue here on this. Yeah, right like that. Don't want to do too much. Don't get crazy. Not too much. A little bit. Maybe even set in here a little darker in a couple places just to kind of set a little contrast. Okay? All right, while we're working, let's go ahead and pick up our uh, little liner brush here. I'm going to do a little detail on our wave. Just kind of twisting into some of this white paint with this little liner brush here. I'm going to go across here like this. And let's just go right in here and put some little, kind of little foam lines here in the, in the waves. If you look at these waves carefully as they wash in, they'll you'll have these little foam things that kind of show up one minute and disappear the next. So they're kind of, kind of neat to put in. Follow the contour of the wave as you do this. In other words, it can go out that way, but then it has to ultimately come back around this way. Follow the contour of the wave if you're going to put these in. We'll do a little bit more detail here. Bring that on out. Might as well, right like that. Out he goes, but notice he comes back around like this, see? Comes back around and ends up ultimately following the contour of the wave. I'm just going back in and doing a little detail here and there. Across like this, maybe even maybe there's another one there too. Right like that. A couple places. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's go back in here using the same liner brush. And let's go in here and put a little dark color right in here where that is. Maybe there's some dark in here. Maybe that's some shadow right in here. Okay. Find a small fan brush. Let's go back in our background, grab a little white, using a small fan brush. And let's just detail back here a little bit. Not much. A little kind of a wave shape here. Now, so just kind of do a rocking brush stroke, right? Like that. A little rocking brush stroke. And maybe even back here, just a dab, not too much. A little rock and brush stroke, same thing, kind of like this. Just to give a illusion of some 
Yeah, a little distance, something or another going on there. Some waves or something. Don't work too hard on it, though. Okay, while we're working here, and it looks like I got some black paint on my hand, but I think what we need to do is put a little, uh, if I can get a clean finger here, we'll put a little, uh, little sunset, all right? Or a little area of old bold color here, if we can. We'll see how it works. Maybe even a little bit more here. Okay, something like that. Fuse it out a little bit. And while we're working, let's go ahead and find our uh, filbert brush. Remember I told you we'd go back to these clouds, so we're going to. And I got a little bluish, all oh, little bluish white already mixed in this filbert brush here that I used earlier. So we're gonna go back up into these clouds and just add a little depth to them here in a few places. Just a little bit here, just make them a little more interesting, like this. Maybe even a little bit more up in here. Go back in, find a little, little, little filbert brush. A little bit more detail in here. Let him splash down here. And we're just detailing a little bit here in a few places. And I'm going to find a, just a small knife here. So we got a little bit of a sunburst there. So I'm going to grab a little yellow and a little white mixed together. And right in here, where the sun's coming down. Let's just put a little, a little color in our wave. Right across like this. Maybe it's working its way across here. Right like so. And I think with that, we're gonna call this one done. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to visit my website, kevinmillerart.com, and if you happen to be in the area, come to my studio at 205 West Loveland Avenue in Loveland, Ohio. And remember, whatever you do, keep painting. Take care.